and welcome back to Yenobo popping out of my body. Not sure how I got into this position, since this isn't really where I was when we stopped. But somehow it's saved it. So now what? Uh -huh. I think I've narrowed down where those old manuscripts could be referring to. Yeah, I'm sure of it. Oh. Way to go, Doc. You're a genius. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Sorry, what? Huh? Oh, come on. Can't we have one brotherly conversation without you listening in? Huh. Yeah, we're not going to tell one word about that bad of Misko's old manuscript. Huh. Listen, why? Why would you say that? Ah. I did it again. I didn't I? Sorry, Doc. Oh. That's fine. The treasure's as good as ours, and this guy's never work out these riddles, even if we told him. Hey, buddy, want to be tell you what the manuscript said? Tell me. <laughs> Thing is, I'm not about to give you info for free. It'll run you 100 rupees. No. Huh? Bitch. Oh, we're going to talk to the bubble juice guy. He's over here. Right where we were earlier in this playthrough. Why the fart? Didn't we see him? It's over on the Pico Pond Cave, right across the Pico Pond, near the stable, where we found the lady who is a fairy who makes clothes better. More defenseful clothes better. Makes me clothes better. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm talking about. We need to get more of those. And we need to upgrade our clothes. Because the reason that that Lionel was kicking our ass is because I had a... It was because I had that... Ember set we just got. And it was not upgraded whatsoever. You're here, Traveler! Do you have business in this cave by any chance? I'm sorry to say, but right now it's... Big Brother! Oh, it's, this is wrong. I got this wrong. I feel like I swear I read... in a news article where they called him Codlin. And maybe it was a mistake on the news article's fault? But his name is Colton, and I was right. It's not his! Colton! Please, it's impossible, absurd even, to try to turn yourself into a legendary creature as a Tori, no less. Absurd! You should be working on the monster collection of me instead of chasing a silly dream like the. <laughs> I will never give up, Kilton. I've always wanted to be a Satori. I will be a Satori. I do not care what it takes. All I need to do is get my fingers on a bubble gem. Then I'm sure to turn into a Satori. And the rumors are true. There is a creature in the cave called a bubble frog, and it glows just like a Satori. God, but I don't know. I don't think it would be... So high on the wall and run around all nimbly mimbly like that? Hmm. In that case, little brother, why not get someone to help you catch a bubble frog? Yes, yes, do you remember all that treasure you collected? You could offer that in trade. I have plenty of bubble gems, sir. Traveler, did you hear me and my brother talking? If I'm going to make my dream come true, I must get my fingers on a bubble gem. Good, but the bubble dog is so very nimbly bimbly and hard to catch. What is your dream? You want to hear about my dream? Well, it's simple really. I dream of becoming a Satori. You know, the creature of myth. Satori are legendary creatures that have been spotted all over Hyrule. Piercing eyes, bluish white fur. Oh, how I have admired them since I was a wee Colton. <laughs> and then I read these ancient texts and they told me how to transform myself. Transform me, 
golden into a satori. For it to work, I must find a bubble frog, a strange creature that loves dark caves and glows bluish white like a satori. Then I have to collect a bubble gem, which is a bubble that bubble frogs drop when they're feeling weak. That's why I chased after the bubble frog looking in the cave. I wanted to get my fingers on that gem. But who knew a bubble frog could gobble about like that? So mimbly, mimbly. Yeah, I want to be a Satari. I will be a Satari. I'll do whatever it takes. Oh, I'm sorry, but this is my wish and my dream and my reason for doing such doings. So if you get hold of a bubble gem, please give it to me. I'll give you a treasure in trade, I swear. Here, take this. <laughs> That's a bubble gem. Hmm. Golden, it is the real thing. The perfect shape. The faint blue glow. It's a real bubble gem. Real as can be. Oh, damn it. Now I can transform into a Satori just like the ones I adore. Thank you so very much. Please take this gift in return. A bow coblin mask. See, I collect all sorts of monstrous treasures. That is, monster parts and goods that make you look like monsters. The mask I gave you was made to look just like a bokoblin. So much so that even a bokoblin would take you for one. By all means, do try it on. Then you will see what it's like to have the body and heart of a bokoblin. At last, at last, the time has come. Time to gobble down the bubble gym. Cheers and bottoms up. <coughs> My body, it isn't changing. But, but I do feel a... Strange sensation washing over me. It can only mean one thing. I'm on my way to becoming a Satori, and that means more. I need more of them. And I can't just gobble them up one at a time. No, that'll never work. I must collect lots and lots and eat them all at once. And to do that, Kilton, big brother, I've decided to get out of, uh, set out on a journey to collect bubble gems. Hmm. I see. Well, it seems you've made up your mind. That being the case, you have my complete support. I hope you collect as many bubble gems as you need. Big brother, thank you. Thank you! Traveler, I am grateful for your help, but I've decided to set out on a journey to collect bubble gems. Next time you get your fingers on a bubble gem, please, please, do give it to me. If you do, I'll trade you a gifty from my collection of treasures for it. And with that, I hope he meets again sometime, somewhere. Thank you, Mr. Carlton. I don't mind if I do. Off he goes. I do hope he's able to make his dream come true. Hmm. Now I have to be on my way as well. I'll be making the journey to Terrytown in a color. Hmm. But dear traveler, thank you so much for helping my little brother. And though I hate to impose, I do hope that during your travels, you'll find time to assist him further. Mm. I will keep my ears wide open for news of my brother's whereabouts, so visit me in Terrytown if you need help finding him. Yes, yes, I'll be going now. So, that's the whole thing to do with Bubble Gems. You trade them in for him, and he gives you monster parts, and oh, uh, armor piece... From Wind Waker and Twilight Princess make a comeback, although it does not look anything like the one from the game. Those games, it is the same way. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I will let you know right about now. It is the magic armor. It's a, it's like a white gown thing, but it does take rupees, and so you don't get hurt when you get hit. I'm pretty sure that's what it does. I think that's what it does? Pretty sure I read that that's what it does. I have it on my main playthrough. I've not used it. Oh, my luminous stone tower sled broke. Why are you doing that to me? I need a rock. I want a rock. Salt. I want another rock salt and a flint. 
Alright, so that's probably all that there's doing here, since this is the cave that's supposed to teach you all about that. Although it says there's a treasure in here. What is the treasure? Oh, this is not from here. This is on top. Where we are now. There's a treasure up here. Why is this here? Interesting and interesting and interesting more. Let's go in the sky, shall we? Or should we go underground? We haven't been underground a lot. In my playthrough that I play on my self, by myself, I go underground a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So much so that I spent most of the first part of playing the game underground. It was so fun to fight all the monsters that are filled with gloom. And getting all of their little zonite. And trading it into the zonite robots to get crystallized charges and get more battery upgraded. Do we have enough? How much crystallized charges do we have? We don't have any? We do have a lot of zonite. The problem is that there's a finite supply of crystallized charges at each zonite place. We could go do that, though, in a little bit. Let's just do it now. And that'll be the end of the episode, because why not make a short episode? I feel like longer episodes... I feel like when I, especially when I go to watch videos, even if it's someone I really like, unless it's someone I really, really like, like, I'll watch a 40, 50-minute video from Attacking Toucans or Why Toucans, because I really like what he talks about, I really like how he does, but I'm an idiot, and I don't do things well. So, why the fuck would you want to watch a 50-minute video of me? Let's see, which one is it? The ability to combine. Yeah, that's where the cave is close to. So, what I'm saying is... It's better for me to make a shorter video, because people are more likely to watch it. Although I get like one or two views on these videos, they're mostly 30 second. It says like there's 10 to 30 seconds of like average time watched. So what do you do? You go to the chapter for these ones because I do chapterize these ones. I'm not going to do much in this episode. It's going to be... Maybe we'll get more battery. Depending on how much... Crystallized charge this guy will give me. It's funny being in this island while we have the glider because for the very first part of the game we did not have the glider. This is the cave I'm thinking of, right? Why is it lit so well? Isn't it dark Interesting. Does it light itself up after you... <laughs> Give me your eyeballs! Does it light itself up after you get off this island? Or is this a different cave that I'm stupid? I feel like this is a different cave. Where am I? Did I go wrong way? Did I go wrong way? I think I went in the wrong cave. Where is the cave then? I could have sworn this was the cave where the guys are making the parts for the monster. I mean, for the... Oh, it isn't. So where is this damn cave then? Is it over here? I mean, there's places on Earth. Let me see if I can find on the map. Um, uh, we're gonna go to the thing. There's gonna be other shops. We're gonna go into the sky. 
go to the main sky aisle and what other shops do we have what does it even mean it's the battery shop but what is the they don't have that on the map where the refineries are hmm seems like that's something you should put on this map crystal refinery no it does have the refineries it doesn't have the there's like areas where huh. interesting let's see if there's a side adventures up here there's not there is a cave there though so let's see where the caves are Oh yeah, there's bubble frogs in these caves too. The mining cave is right here next to the opening. Interesting. We've been in there. I'm confused. I don't think that's the same mining cave that I'm thinking of. The bottomless cave this is not the cave I'm thinking of because that is the cave that has the yeah and this is where the refinery is right there but that's just to make Let's use this crystallized charges to make more batteries. We don't have crystallized charges. We need to make... We got to make... Not a cave. Crystallized charges from Zonite. Charges all night. I feel like this cave is underground. In this planet. Mm, okay, let's go to the map. It shows the cave here, but it's probably underneath where this is, right? Here. That's not where I want to be. It makes sense that it's next to the railroad track. But I'm now on it. How is that? There she be. I don't think the mining caves have bu bu bubble frogs. We could have found one already. I'm not surprised any cave in this area has bubble frogs. But maybe they just come after you've landed on them. Because I don't remember there being a bubble frog in here. Of course, it is very dark.
Do our lights stay there, or do they light it up more? Like, are these the same lights that we put down earlier? This is what I'm looking for. Yeah, see, he only slows 30. So we only have 50 now. Oh, they're not on the screen. That's why I didn't see them. So we have half. So you can see that our battery over to the right next to our avatar has three little sections. We need 100 crystallized charges to make a th one of the sections. So we need 300 to make a full new battery. So we're not even close. But... That's all I wanted to do in this episode, so remember to subscribe to my channel, ring that bell, like the video, comment down below, and share the video, and in the next episode, maybe we'll go underground and s Well, maybe I'll find more of these places so that we can get more crystallized charges, and we'll also go underground because there are actually places where you can get crystallized charges, and some of them are beating the bosses from the other dungeons that are underground, and you get actually a whole 100 crystallized charges for that which will get you a whole third of a battery. So, see you guys next time. Bye!